Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. It is so hard to believe that our summer is drawing to a close and all of our children are heading off to school. Just special attention in and around school bus stops, special attention in and around communities where speed limits are lowered. Let's look out for our kids. Let's have a great new start to a school year. Now, Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Matthew David Linouet. In June of 2013, a fight broke out at Red Eyes Dock Bar in Graysonville, resulting in several injuries, including one man suffering a serious broken leg. Investigation indicated that he had been jumped by several males in the parking lot. Deputies were able to identify five of the suspects and warrants were issued in this case. Several of the suspects lived in Delaware and were contacted to turn themselves in. After only two came in, our partners, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, was asked to assist us. After one suspect was greeted early one morning, the remaining suspects quickly turned themselves in that evening. Through interviews of those suspects and court proceedings, additional suspects were identified and a warrant has been issued on December the 3rd, 2013 for Matthew David Lenouette. He's wanted for an assault, disorderly charge, and reckless endangerment. Lynette is 31 years old, he's 6 foot 3 inches tall, and weighs 235 pounds. He also has a tattoo on his right arm. If you have any information of his whereabouts, or you happen to know him, ask him to turn himself in before our partners in law enforcement began to start knocking on his doors. Carrie Ray Cruz. Recently, this young lady was working for a cleaning service at a residence here in Chester, Maryland. On arrival at the home, she was noted to be alert and coherent. However, after cleaning the bedroom, she had become unsteady and her speech was slurred. The female then went out to her vehicle and slumped over. The homeowner contacted 911 and upon arrival of a deputy, the female was found to be unconscious. While EMS was checking the female, a couple of prescription pill bottles belonging to the homeowner were found in the flower bed. A further check showed numerous prescription pill bottles were missing from the residence. A search of the female's vehicle located a syringe and a gel cap with suspected heroin residue. Identification showed the female to be Carrie Ray Cruz, 26, of Pasadena. Due to her condition, she was transported to Anne Arundel Medical Center for treatment. On July 24th, a warrant was issued for her, charging her with controlled dangerous substance violations and theft. Cruz is a white female. She's five foot, 102 pounds, and her last known address is 4704 Henshaw Lane in Pasadena. If you have any information about her whereabouts, you're urged to contact Anne Arundel County Police or our office. And remember, your tip will and can remain anonymous. One of the best things our viewers like is to learn that somebody they gave us information on or some tip that they generated led to arrests. Recent arrests include Franklin Dodd on numerous violation of probation, burglary, and disorderly conduct warrants. He was located in Easton. Debbie Rigby arrested near her home in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on a 2007 controlled dangerous substance warrant. Henry Rowell Gonzalez wanted it in a circuit court non-support warrant issued on August the 8th. Gonzalez is 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighs 220 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Gonzalez has numerous tattoos including skulls on his left arm, crowns, skulls and a clown on his left hand and L.A. on his right arm. His last known address was Sloan Drive in Glen Burnie. He was working in cleaning buildings in Baltimore. Look, with the name Gonzalez on his neck, this guy shouldn't be too hard to find. We'll be awaiting your tips on this guy. Brittany Barksdale. Task Force detectives stopped a gold BMW passenger car on Route 50 at Bloomingdale Road here in Queen Anne's County on May 30th of 2014 while working a special operation detail. The driver of the vehicle stated that he had never had a driver's license and identified himself as Javon Kurt Lewis of Hyattsville. The passenger of the BMW advised that she was the owner and identified herself as Brittany Barksdale, also of Hyattsville. Several locations in the vehicle had trace amounts of marijuana and Lewis stated that when he used to sell green, he would hide quantities in those locations of the vehicle. Lewis's cell phone had also been seized and following a search warrant for the phone, text messages and photos 
indicated that Lewis is currently distributing marijuana in Maryland. Following lab results, warrants were issued for both subjects on July 21st, charging them with controlled dangerous substance possession with intent to distribute possession of controlled dangerous substance and conspiracy to distribute controlled dangerous substance. Brittany Barksdale is a 25-year-old African-American female. She's five foot five inches tall, 160 pounds. She has several facial piercings and a tattoo of Brittany with a crown on her right breast and a second tattoo on her right thigh. Javon Lewis has been arrested with the assistance of Prince George's County Police. If you have any information on Brittany's Barksdale's location, you're urged to contact local authorities, or as I always say, you can send us that tip. As always, I wanna take this time to really thank the folks at Queen Anne's County QAC TV7. Without their help putting this program on and the help of you, the viewer, this county would not be the second safest county in Maryland. We're striving to make it number one, and we can do that with your support and your trust in taking all these bad guys off the street. Thanks to you, the viewer, for making Queen Anne's County the safest county on the shore. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.